Hey everyone, this is Paul with your Bold Profits Daily. Today, I want to try to introduce my own fang. Those of you who follow Jim Cramer of Mad Money and CNBC know that a few years ago, he went on television and said, listen, if you want to invest in stocks that are going to go up because they represent technology, coolness, a lot of things that represent stocks of our time. He said, you should invest in FANG. And FANG stood for Facebook, Amazon, Netflix, and Google. Later on, people adopted Apple and put that in there too, and it became Fang. But Fang originally was just Facebook, Amazon, and Netflix, and Google. And if you go back and look from the time Jim Cramer told you to invest in Fang, you have done unbelievably well because Facebook has gone up, Amazon stock has gone up, Netflix stock has gone up, and Google stock has gone up. So I have to be very truthful here. I've been very envious of Jim Cramer and him bringing up and coming up with this acronym, this abbreviation called FANG. And I have been racking my brain for some time now saying, hey, what can I come up with? And I came up with an idea. I came up with four stocks that fit one of my mega trends that I have not covered. So that's what I'm gonna do in this week's Bull Profits Daily. I want to guide you through four stocks that I've come up with an acronym and they really benefit from the coming of age of the millennial generation. And the best way to actually display them is through apps. What is more appropriate for today's world than apps? Apps on your phone. So I went and set up my phone so that I had all the four apps, the four stocks. Now, I do have to tell you that all of these stocks are in one or other of my services. And so this is a little bit of a freebie. I'm giving these away because these are valuable picks. However, if you want the analysis and all of the general guidance that all of our readers get, you'll have to subscribe. However, I am going to tell you about my acronym that I came up with for these stocks. So the first stock I'm going to show you is Spotify. Spotify is the dominant music streaming service that I believe is used pretty much by every single person that is 40 or under for the most part. CDs are gone, regular radio is gone, pretty much everyone uses Spotify. And so that's the first stock that I would tell you that if you want to capture the essence of how the millennial generation is spending its money listening to music, Spotify, stock number one. The second is Tesla. Now, <laughs> yes, you'll be saying, hey, Paul, come on. Millennials don't have enough money to, to buy Teslas. I would tell you that is untrue. I know a lot of millennials that own the Tesla Model 3 and they love Tesla. And on top of that, most of them began their relationship with Tesla by buying a few shares of Tesla stock. And so Tesla represents for the millennial generation technology, coolness, um, obviously a, a, a car, transportation. However, there is an identification with the brand that is also very off our time. So that's my stock number two. And the third one is Uber. Now, Uber is something that really just really began. I remember the first time I used Uber and guess who told me about it? So a friend of mine that was a millennial, she's like, hey, you should use Uber. And I started to use it and truthfully, I've never stopped. I've stopped renting cars. And at one point in time, I can even see myself just using Uber all the time. So Uber is now a publicly traded stock. It came public uh, 
just a few weeks ago, and it's in our IPO speculator service. And I believe that the outlook for Uber is incredible for some of the same reasons that the outlook is incredible and phenomenal for a company like Tesla. And the very last one is Facebook. Facebook, if you don't know, is used pretty much by everyone. However, Instagram, which is owned by Facebook, well, that one is really what millennials use all the time to record what they are doing. And every time they're out doing something, having an experience, this is what they use. And so if you see, you'll see that it is S T U F stuff. That is my attempt to come up with my own acronym to mimic Fang stuff. Spotify, Tesla, Uber, and Facebook. And this is your shortcut to invest in our time and in the preferences of the millennial generation, which are as much as 93 million strong and are increasingly beginning to dominate our economy, dominate the stock market. And if you go and look, these stocks have been going up and I believe they're going to continue to go up. So that's what I have for you this week. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up subscribe, like, and comment, and go ahead and buy even one share into each of these. If you want coverage of these, subscribe to Profits Unlimited and you'll get coverage of most of these companies. So that's my Bull Profits Daily for you this week. I'll have another one for you next week. Until then, this is Paul saying bye.